Hey guys, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and today I want to show you the new update to Vocaline from Synchro Arts. Vocaline is a plugin that allows you to time align vocals. It literally works like magic, and <laughs> I've been using Vocaline for years and years. It's been one of the most useful audio tools I've ever used. But in previous versions, working with it in Logic was a, a bit wonky. So I find myself in the past exporting vocals into Pro Tools, using Vocaline there, then exporting my time-aligned vocals back into Logic. So now with the newest version of Vocaline that just came out, you can very easily time-align your vocals right in Logic with the magic of ARA, or A-R-A. This stands for Audio Random Access, and it's a functionality that exists in a lot of DAWs nowadays, uh, not just Logic. And this allows you to have direct access to timing and synchronization of regions in different tracks. So for example, in this video, you'll see that Aura allows Vocaline to control another Vocaline plugin on another track. So we can use the lead vocal here as a timing reference for all of our backing vocals. So in this video, I'll show you how this works real quick in Logic first. And then later in the video, I'll talk about how I used to use it in Pro Tools and how you can still use it in Pro Tools today. So first and foremost, in Logic, you need Logic 10.5.1 or higher for this to work. Second of all, when you install Vocaline, you want to make sure that you restart your computer because uh, for whatever reason, the Aura version of Vocaline did not show up until I restarted my computer. So keep that in mind. One last thing to remember with Aura plugins, you cannot load these on any insert on a track except for the first insert. So you'll notice if I load up Aura on my second insert here, I'll go down to Audio Units, go to Synchro Arts, Vocaline Pro AU. That's just the standard version. If I go up to my first insert slot, Audio, audio Units, uh, Synchro Arts, and you'll see the Aura version show up. So Aura plugins in Logic have to be loaded on the first uh, uh, first insert slot. So right now I'm working on a new album for my band. Uh, this is just a quick section of it with the lead vocals up here. And then I've got the backing track turned down quite a bit. Uh, but just let me let me show you what this sounds like with just the lead vocal in. We will rise like fire in the night Like shadows have been cast over crimson lies that haunt us to this day so I wanted uh, like a big vocal choir to sort of be stacked on top of his part there. So I had two different uh, female singers come into the studio and they sang in these different harmonies. So here's the first singer. She put down three tracks. We will rise like fire in the night, like shadows have been cast. All right. And then here's my second singer. We will rise. Like fire in the night, like shadows have been cast. Now, they're pretty good in tune. Um, that's not really the problem. The problem is that the timing between the different singers is a little bit off. Um, the first singer is pretty in time with herself. The second singer is pretty in time with herself. But altogether, you'll especially notice that the front end and back end of phrases, how they're not quite uh, perfectly in time with each other. We will rise like fire in the night, like shadows have been cast. Oh. Let's listen to that one more time. We will rise like fire in the night, like shadows have been cast. Oh. So it kind of sounds like a mess, and it has nothing to do with the tuning. The tuning sounds fine. Um, it's just that the timing of certain consonants and certain spots are, are not right. So let's use Vocaline to do this real quick. So I'm going to pull up my mixer here. And I'm using the mixer because I want to be able to access all of my vocal channels at once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the vocal channels, including the lead vocal. I'm going to put the lead vocal at the top here. And then on all of those channels, I'm going to add Vocaline Pro, the Aura uh, version of it. So Synchro Arts, Vocaline Pro AU, Aura, Mono, they're all mono channels. 
Now, this little thing will pop up here, this little dialogue will pop up. You can choose not to show this, but basically what this is telling you is that you have to make sure that you press play before you capture the guide track and the dub tracks. Um, and this is just something you have to do uh, with vocal line. This is, it's not really vocal line's fault, it's Ara's fault. With Ara, in order to capture things and for um, the data, the real-time sort of data on the tracks to be updated, you have to press play. If you've used uh, Melodyne Ara, it does the same thing. You have to press play a bit, um, just for a bit, for it to, you know, load the audio in. So the same thing applies here. So just make sure that you have the lead vocal track up. Um, so here's the lead vocal. That's going to be the the uh, the guide. And then what I'm going to do is deselect everything by clicking on the background. Then select just the region that you want to use as the guide or the reference. So for me, it's the lead vocal here. Press play for a bit. We will rise. Then press capture guide. And what this will do is it'll load this waveform into Vocaline Pro as the guide. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one or multiple backing vocals. Yes, you can do them all at one time. You don't have to do them one at a time. Select all of those backing vocals. Press play one more time. We will rise! Just for a bit. You don't have to play the whole thing. Then press capture dub. And it loads in all of these backing vocals into the dub section here. Now, you don't have to click anything else. Once you import everything in, it automatically aligns all of these backing vocals, all of the dub vocals, to the guide vocal. So let's give this a listen. And notice that I never left the lead vocal, vocal line plugin. That's what I was talking about with ARA or ARA. The, the, the power with this, the magic of this, is that this plugin can actually control all these other plugins. So we never had to leave the lead vocal uh, plug in. We will rise like fire in the night, like shadows have been cast. Oh. Now, other than maybe a few little consonants on the tail end here and over here, it's actually it's pretty good. Um, just to hear that again, let me bypass um, all of these vocal line plugins. So here's what it sounded like before. We will rise. Like fire in the night, like shadows have been cast. Oh, yeah, you can hear everything's sort of off. Let's turn those back on again. We will rise like fire in the night, like shadows have been cast. Oh, so we just saved a ton of time um, because now you, you know you could, if you wanted to, you could go through each one of these tracks with flex time and you could manually, you know, align them all. And that might be fine if you just have one little harmony here or there. But when you have multiple harmonies or maybe you're trying to layer up your lead vocal with some uh, duplicate vocals, some layered vocals um, for like a bigger vocal effect, like a vocal ensemble effect, anything like that is really going to benefit from vocal line. Now, let's say that after you've applied vocal line, you want to bounce that vocal alignment into a new region. Well, it's pretty simple to do in Logic. Just go into your mixer, make sure that all of those channels have their volume set to Unity, just option click, and then also reset all the pans so they're centered, because we don't want to bounce any levels or panning into a new file. And then also make sure that none of your vocal channels have any other effects on them. So what I'm gonna do is select each one of these one by one, Press Control B to pull up your bounce in place uh, dialog. I'm not going to bypass effects plugins because that'll bypass vocal line. And then I'll just click OK. And what this will do is it will bounce that vocal alignment in place as a new file. So you can see there how it's adjusted this vocal to pull this forward here. So here's the new one, there's the old one. And throughout that performance, you'll see all of these timing adjustments. And it's not just shifting the whole thing forward, it's actually adjusting the envelope. You can see here, this one actually gets stretched out a bit on the, uh, the vocal aligned track. Now, as of August 2020, at the time of making this video, uh, Pro Tools is pretty much one of the only DAWs that doesn't support Aura. But fortunately enough for Pro Tools users, there's this little thing up here called the Audio Suite, 
which uh, makes using vocal line pretty easy. So let me show you how I do this in Pro Tools. If, if you really hate working with Aura, um, and I understand, I completely get it, Aura uh, plugins can tend to be a little wonky sometimes. Um, so this is sort of the old way I used to do it. I'd take my tracks, bring them into Pro Tools, and what I would do is I would actually kind of segment them into even smaller um, phrases. So instead of working with the whole long phrase, the whole chorus of a song, I would work with individual phrases. And um, it's a bit more time consuming, but it, it sort of works similarly. So what you do is go up to the audio suite, go down to Synchro Arts, load up Vocal Line Pro. It looks a little bit different because this is the non-ARA or non-ARA version. Then what you do is select the clip that you want to use as the guide. Make sure you have the guide selected here. Click Capture. Then double click or select one of the clips that you want to use as a dub. Click Dub. Click Capture. Then all you have to do is click Spot. And what this does is it shifts and alters um, the alignment of that clip to match the guide. And then you can just go down to the next one, capture, spot, capture, spot, and just keep working your way on down. And each one of these backing vocals will be matched up to the lead vocal above. We will rise. So some people prefer using it this way. I definitely understand that. Um, one benefit to using it this way in Pro Tools is you can add whatever inserts or plugins you want, whatever volume or panning you want, and none of that's going to be affected because it's affecting, you know, the, the waveform itself, the clip itself, and you don't have to go and, and bounce anything in place uh, like we did in Logic. The downside is it just takes five times as long to get through, you know, an entire vocal performance, especially if you have, you know, five, six, seven, some of these Songs I'm working on with my band have 10 backing vocals all stacked up in a big choir. So using Aura certainly helps uh, with that. Um, but I can definitely understand, you know, when people say they don't work like working with Aura plugins. Because Aura plugins are relatively new, um, sometimes they're still a just a little bit wonky. Um, so I get that. Um, but this is another way you can use it. This is sort of the old way of using it, um, or I've used it in the past. So... Now, one thing I didn't talk about are all of the extra controls here in settings in Vocaline, um, and these look a little bit different in Logic. Let me know if you want me to do more videos um, working with Vocaline, uh, maybe diving deeper into some of these other functions or um, using Vocaline in different ways. Um, so just let me know if uh, that's something you guys want to see. Um, and if you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.